All right, let's talk about sore healing. First of all, let's look at level 23. I want you to read this, if you could. Please go ahead and read level 23. is for spending. Read it. Well, let's go ahead and jump all the way up to, um, let's say this one here. Uh, no, 39, Dark Resurgence. Innervate spreads your resurgence up to four allies. It's a good one here. And I want you to go all the way up to 51. You want to use Innervate while you're moving. So that's a great one to have at level 51. And we're going to jump up to 68. Uh, we're going to talk about full rope boat wash later, but um, I'm going to encourage you to take pit, uh, phase walk or whirlwind. We're going to come back to bolt rush. All right, let's go back to go look at the gear. Um, you will want to be using your tactical called one for all. This will make one, roaming mend heal up to five targets instead of four. This is a very good one. This is your most powerful heal, and it is an extra free bounce, which is great. And then the two tacticals are going to be the unhatched, Unmatched Haste and Revitalize. There's others, but these are the ones I'm going to use because I'm going to use Resurgence uh, for that free extra heal, and I stole my DPS's tactical. All right, let's look at the rotation. Again, I want you to read that uh, number level 23. I'm going to repeat it again. So force 23, level 23, force bending. Please read that. You'll understand what this is doing. So basically, before every single attack you do, you're going to want to use a Resurgence. So Resurgence... Or mend resurgence if it's on cooldown. Innervate resurgence, uh, dark infusion, uh, and and just before any, and then resurgence revivification. You'll be using uh, that that resurgence before those. So um, let's go into what it does. So first of all, this Romy mend it will bounce five times. So um, this is your go-to at any time. If you have resurgence Romy mend, this is your go-to at all times. At all times. This is your go-to. Don't do anything else. If you have the force and it is up in this on cooldown, this is your go-to, because it is your strongest heal. It's an extra bounce, and it is a smart heal. So there are very specific times where everybody is taking a lots of damage at once, like some sort of AOE scripted damage. In that instance, you might use another heal. Like for example, you might use a revivication, instant revivication that has been procked by resurgence, and then just dark heal somebody very quickly. Um, other than that, you're going to be using Resurgence, Roman Mend. So you're going to want to regenerate your force power. So the reason on level 20, um, 20, I'm sorry, 39, we grab that, is because Innervate will spread your Resurgence to other targets. So now this becomes an AoE heal as well, slightly. So the Resurgence is now an AoE heal. Also, if you use a resurgence, not always you, know, you can't always do it, but if you use a resurgence before an innervate, it's more often going to crit. If it crits, it makes consuming darkness glow. It's going to look like that. So now it's glowing. Glowing is a good thing. That means you're not going to get a debuff. The debuff is called weary. So if you use consuming darkness while you have this debuff, you um, take a little bit of uh, force regeneration is a problem. It causes your force. You don't want that debuff. You want to each use that while it's glowing. If you have to generate force and that is not glowing, go for it. It's better for you to regenerate force and save somebody than it is to not have any force and not be able to do anything. Let's look at the bubble. Your static barrier, uh, I'm going to say use your static barrier on no more than four targets. Yourself, the tank, and maybe two other DPS that who, are, uh, who, are needing, who are needing it. Maybe you just want to do the two healers and or like another healer and the tank and maybe a DPS or something like that. Do not try to go put a static bear on everybody because you're going to run out of force. Uh, also, it only lasts for 30 seconds. It is not like the other healers where they last for a very long time. This one falls off and that is a problem. So uh, there's, there's no benefit if they take no damage. If they do take damage, it's a great benefit because it actually shields in this gear. It'll be 25k damage. It's shielded. So that is a good thing. All right, let's look at the um, the recklessness guarantees a crit. Your polarity shift and your four speed. Might as well use them all together to make sure that dark infusion crits. The tricky thing about dark infusion is you want to use resurgence before it because it is a quite a long cast. So in this gear, it's like a 1.9 second cast. It's almost two seconds. It's like a full two seconds you're sitting there casting. So if you're standing there like a turret, no good. So you can use a resurgence in front of it. And if you use a resurgence in front of it, it makes it a nice uh, little shorter cast. So it's 1.4 seconds. Let's talk about dark heal. Um, so dark heal is your absolute worst heal. If you're using dark heal, it better be glowing. If it is not glowing, do not touch it. Don't get anywhere near it. Two things will make it glow. 
a dark dark infusion will make him glow and uh, resurgence I mean sorry reviv revivication will make it glow but it will not always glow it will only glow if procced and only every so often so keep that in mind if you're trying to get a couple of these dark heals off you're only using it if you can make it glow and this time it will glow for certain there it's glowing and then you can use it so it makes it very very good heal if it's glowing uh, let's talk about the barrier one more time go ahead and barrier just a few people and expunge this is your cleanse you want to make sure that cleanse is handy if you see something might as well go ahead and cleanse it let's talk about those cleanses real quick so in, in, in your interface editor you don't have to but it might help as you're learning is to show only removable defect uh, debuffs on your on your tree on your uh, operation frames it it does help while you're learning after you've learned and understand what these debuffs are you can go ahead and turn that off but while you're learning you might want to think about turning on totally optional you don't have to uh, just for this demonstration I'm gonna leave it on for now um, and let's see I think that's it let's just see this rotation in action uh, one more item we're gonna look at is Actually, I'm not going to hit this training dummy because I could be stuck in combat. It does that sometimes. So I'm just going to show you it in, in, in practice. So you need to do boom, boom. See, it's bouncing around. And this is ready. You see, glow. Didn't glow, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to this. But resurgence is ready, so I'm going to use this. Then use the resurgence. Then use this one to make it crit for sure. Nothing else is ready. So I'll go ahead and use this. It'll spread whatever resurgence is on there. This will pop it. This is ready. So if these three are ready, I'm going for it. They're not ready, so I'm going to use this one. Two of those in a row. This is glowing. This one. There we go. Consuming darkness. Consuming darkness. And Roman Min is ready, so let's use it. Interface ready. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four as often as I can. It's not glowing, so I'm going to use this. There is a research on that, so I'm going to go ahead and use my Innervate. It'll cast that around. I can either go here or here and pop this around. So it's kind of a... It's kind of a... Always go back to your... Resurgence, Roaming Mend, Innervate as, as often as possible. Alright, and then every once in a while you might want to throw in there a revivication instacast and only instacast that cast that revivication because it does do a lot of healing to a group of people but if they don't need healing then it's wasted so somebody is gonna need healing at some point at all point all time somebody's gonna need it, well, at least one person so if one person needs that healing boom they're gonna get it with Romy Mind. they will get the Romy they will get the heal all right let's talk about this one here this is a weird one Storm's Sucker. Let's go ahead and read what it says. It says, Volt Rush heals an ally with 20, 20 meters of the damage enemy. The healing scales up with each charge of Energized. Energized charges also reduce the force volt. Use. So the more you use it, the more damage. Uh, the more you use it, the more damage it does, and the more healing it does. So let us change the combat style here. And you're going to see, this is actually the strongest heal in the game, single target heal in the game, but it's hard to do. So these are your, this is your Volt Rush. Let me go ahead and move that over here a little bit. Here's your Volt Rush. Uh, it charges up to three times. It has a cooldown of about 10, almost 10 seconds for each one. So that's 30 seconds. So three is 30 seconds. Plus, you can charge yourself two more. Your fourth one is always the strongest attack and the largest heal. So let's see that in action. And, and, and just keep in mind, it cripples your force. Like, badly cripples your force so um you're trying to manage your force with consuming darkness and i forgot to mention your weapon will not uh regenerate force at all your weapon does not the only way to do it is with consuming darkness or time or you're out of combat and you're regenerating somehow with a toy or seethe all right so let's look at the volt rush i'm going to do uh we're going to see what it crits with this gear one 20k 47k that one 52k all the way to 61k this is smaller so that did 62k and i mean basically what amounts to uh 324 gear that is a 60k heal with this gear on there's no way i'm getting anywhere close to 60k heals um if i was wearing really good gear if i put on the other gear you can you can crit up to 94 or 90 i've seen up to 95 uh crit on this there is not a single heal in the game single heal in the game that will crit for 90k healing um, it is that's just massive um, couple problems one you're a healer 
your job is not to do damage. Number two, it eats your force. Number three, you could miss because you're a healer. You don't have accuracy. So those are problems with it. Um, big problems could be big healing. Just keep it in the back of your head. If your healers are struggling, and you're like, man, the healers are struggling. You're not even playing healing class. Just keep this in the back of your mind. You can pop this out. If the DPS needs some help, you're probably going to be getting in their way. Like, you need to be healing your DPS and your tank. So, um, one great thing about this is it is a smart healer. So, it will always, just like Robin Min, bounce to the most power, uh, most, the weakest player. The 63k crit. That was a 63k. So, that's always nice. Um, and I think that is all. I don't really have anything else uh, to mention about this, because if you're damaging, uh, there's probably a problem if you're damaging. Something's going on. If you need to damage, go ahead and use an Affliction. Why not? It, it does, uh, it's instant, and you can get right back to your your um, your healing. Uh, you can Shock if you want to. That's nice. You can, you, you can stun people and get them out of your way. And Lightning Strike is always nice, because it will smack them. Your... Um, uh, and you can get right back, to your, right back to your healing. You, of course, have your reanimation. You can res some people. And uh, if you really, really want to, you can use your Saber Strike if you want to troll somebody. Um, real quick, though, your Force Barrier. This is a cool one because it will negate all damage um, unless it's scripted where you must, you're required to die. And that's about the only time. But this will, is the got a huge long cooldown but you are 100 percent invincible uh you can even see it here survivability infinity infinity you will not die generally you can cheese your way out of a lot of things and then you're interrupt and you're break so uh stunning people shoot sure so that's all i got for you uh, have fun out there healing